Yo, what's good you guys man, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the build that I'll be rocking with throughout 2K19. I ain't got much else to say man, I'm not trying to hold you guys up for too long, so let's go ahead and get straight into the build video, bro. Okay, so for the position, obviously Kyrie, point guard. You wanna pick point guard, even though a lot of people are saying this year that shooting guard's better. No, trust me man, if you have any sort of intentions in playing my career this year, you're gonna wanna pick the point guard because I don't know about y'all, but I don't have any sort of intentions of just running up the court, spamming X, trying to get that ball off the AI when they just refuse to pass it, man. That is the most frustrating thing. So by me selecting point guard, I don't have to worry about any of that sort of stuff. Now, as for the archetypes, I selected primary, shot creating, secondary, passing, and ball handling, man. I know a lot of y'all are going to be saying that Kyrie's actual archetype is primary prey making. Prey making. Primary. Bruh. I know a lot of you are going to be saying that Kyrie is more similar to the play sharp, but I feel like by choosing that, he's restricted to just breaking ankles and shooting threes, which he does incredibly well, but I feel like by choosing that, you're just so restricted to only doing that, whereas with the shot creating build, it's a lot more versatile. It opens you up to being able to shoot step back jumpers, spinning jumpers, and your ability to finish at the rim is far, far better, which is why I feel like Kyrie is more of a shot creating playmaker. Now, as for the height, I was tossing up on whether to go 6'5", 6'6", or 6'4", man. And eventually, I came to the conclusion that I want to be 6'4", this year. Because, as I'm sure a lot of y'all know, this year, man, your height, wingspan, weight, and all that stuff plays a lot more of a factor into your final statistics. Yes, being that little bit shorter, your defensive stats are going to dip just a little bit. But, I mean, at the end of the day, if you trust in your stick skills to play good defense, then, hey your defender ain't gonna be able to score on you. It's like, if dude had a pure lockdown, but he didn't know how to play defense in this game, obviously the person he's guarding will score on him nearly every single time. I feel like defense is more about stick skills rather than just relying on defensive stats. And as for the weight, you don't wanna go too high because although you will be a little bit stronger, you're gonna be a whole lot slower and then obviously you don't wanna go too light or you're gonna be getting cruised on defense. So for the weight, I just decided to keep that at neutral. And now for the wingspan, you want to be real careful when selecting this. I feel like this has the most influence on your final stats. Almost as much as what the height does, man, for real. Last year, you could just max it out and be fine with it, but that's that's not how it is in 2K19, which is why I've only gone two ticks to the left, making my arms a little bit shorter, but in return, I'm going to have a lot better shooting stats, and my ball control also goes up a little bit, which means that I'm going to be able to speed boost a whole lot earlier. I'm also going to show you guys the stats you get off rip. Keep in mind, this is just the 85 overall version of your player. Obviously, the more you progress, the more you level up, the higher your attributes are going to get. Now, I'm just going to scroll through them real quick. Feel free to pause the video at any time. I'd just like to highlight a few important stats in particular. So firstly, as you guys can see, off rip, you get a 73 driving dunk. That is insane because... Well, there's still three to four attribute caps remaining, and if you can get up to that 80 driving dunk, you're gonna be able to unlock that Zach Levine dunk package. Now, just imagine how crazy that's gonna be. Kyrie Irving handles a 74 open three off rip with three to four attribute caps still remaining to increase, so that's gonna at least go up to 80, plus all your shooting badges, man, and then being able to dunk like Zach Levine. Bruh, that's, that's literally OP. And then how could I forget? Off rip, you get an 85 ball control, which means yes, you're gonna be able to speed boost for sure. And it's only gonna take one attribute cap, which won't take long at all to unlock this. So, hey man. With that being said, be sure to give this video a like, man. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button because I got a lot of great content dropping all year round, man. I promise you, I'm going super hard on this 2K stuff, man. I'm really trying to make this YouTube thing uh, a thing, I guess. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys can come along for the journey. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, man. You're all amazing people. And um, yeah, bro, until next time, it's been your boy, King Swish. And I'm out, man. Oh, I think she like me. Gucci on so icy. I finesse precisely to pre-match nicely. And it's on my waistline.